hello and welcome in this video we are going to learn about edit so how you can edit your data here we have a model window which we can create new product but for the edit you have to click on the edit again it should open a model window and you should be able to edit your data here so how would you do that one you can create another model window for the edit but i'm going to use the same model window but this time we are going to open the model window conditionally so you will learn some tips in this video also so let's start if i come to the table we you have here i will just zoom it out a little bit or close the sidebar so, so you can see the whole thing here is the edit if someone click on this one we are going to respond to it let's say we have a function called edit product and this is also going to accept a prompt called product we are going to send the product to this function called edit product so i will come all the way down there here is the delete one and here is the edit product so what, what i'm going to do is i'm going to firstly show the model window we have here here is the model window we are going to show this is what we do and next up we have to fill those data what i mean by fill if i come to my application here it just refresh everything if you click on the edit we can see the model window it should populate the information of the product we have here inside this one so how you do that one i will come there we already know how we can accept the parameter here so i'm going to take those product which they send from the button here this is going to be of course unique for every product and then i am going to store that in the object we have here so i will come down here i will say this dot product equal to product dot data so this should take the data of uh, the product and they should store those information in the product array we have here so if i save it for now let's refresh our page and see if it works you click on the edit nope we have an error so if i come here checking the error here we do not have the data for our yeah here is the problem so since we are not using the actual firebase we are using view firestore you don't have to say like product.data this product is going to contain the information of the product like the product name and the product description and the price so if i save it for now and this time if i click on the book 2 to edit this one you can see the description and everything is written here the price and all the way if i come down let's say we are going to edit the apple here is going to be the title as well as the price and any other information so now we have those information how we can have like a conditional button here click on the edit you are going to save the changes this is going to send you somewhere else if i check out the model window here all the way down if someone click on the save changes it is going to call add product button here so this is this is the function which will be called and it is going to add a new product this is not what we are going to do we are going to update our product so how you do that one so let's figure out first of all you know this button should not show here so what you can do is you can hide this button conditionally for example if someone click on the edit product which we call here this is edit product so what i am going to do is first of all i am going to set a variable here let's say edit mode or let's say model by default it is equal to null now i'm going to set a model in a status of the model let's say model is edit or delete or anything else so how you do that one you can say uh, this dot model which refer to the model we have here and we can set a value for this one for now i'm going to say edit so how this is going to do is it is going to say the model window is set to edit means we are going to edit something so now every time someone click on this one it is going to set to edit if someone click on the add new product which we have all the way down there add a product or some the the add new here which open the model window which can change that you can see this dot model is equal to you can say 
new now you have here now the 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 value of this model is going to be different based on the button you are going to click now based on that i can display something in the screen for example i can hide this one now i can say v if make sure you are using v if we have v show which is going to hide that but it just said display none and it will be still in the dom so if you use vf it is not going to display that anyway so it will completely remove it so you can say vf this or not this model is equal to let's say edit mm, new we, we can say model is equal to new it means if the model value is equal to new display this one so now if i come here you refresh the page let's see if we do not get any error we don't have any error so if you click on the add product here you can see we have the button here and if i click on the edit you should not see that button here so that is that much simple now what you can do is you can duplicate this button this is going to be another button but this time it is going to be equal to edit if the model is equal to edit show this one instead of saying changes i will say apply is this double p yes apply changes i hope the spelling is right so the apply changes will be will be shown there as well as you can change the function of course here and this is going to be update product and the object product is going to update the product we have here now if i come and test it you click on the edit yes say apply the changes close it you click on the edit and now you have another save changes which is going to create a new product so now you know how you can set it conditionally again we have for the title the same thing the title is equal to edit product so the same condition you can write there so i will not write that there i will do that behind the scene so i will come all the way down there to continue the edit product now the edit product is fine what i'm going to do is i'm going to store the product the current product which we are going to edit the id of that product in the active item here so that we can later use the update product to update that specific product now we can say this dot active item is equal to product you know how you can take that data from here you can say equal to dot key we already discussed that one you can say doc document dot key which is going to take the key of that one now this is going to take the key of the product and store that in the active item here so if i save it for now it should work just fine now what you can do is if someone click on the update product we are going to update the product so if you go to the documentation of the view file store here is how you update any document so let's come here i'm not going to take all the code this is the code you are going to use inside the function so you copy this one and we are going to paste it here i will customize it now they accept the parameter as a person or as a product but we are not going to accept because they want to take the id of the document and then maybe update that one for us we have already stored that as an active item here so what we can do is we can say this dot active item and it is going to update the active item we have here so it should be just fine it is not a person it is the products and it is going to run the update and they are going to pass an object here of course we are not going to do that we are going to say the object is the product which is the single product not the plural it means if you bring any changes this variable will change here and anytime someone click uh, update it is going to update those information and it will take the active product and update that one after it update that we are going to display some maybe we are going to use the toaster here it should be shown successfully update it successfully and this time if we try refresh the page 
and let's see if it, it is working of course this is the real-time database so we are going to change the price of the team let's make it ten dollar or any price you can choose you click on the apply changes okay you get an error here so let's see what is the error if I bring it a little bit up here we can say invalid data path key so yeah the key they didn't find the key here first of all let's see product which is equal to the product we have dot key which does not exist here so if you see the same problem all you have to do is just come to the documentation of the view file store at the end they have a little configuration for you it means that instead of every time calling person or product dot key uh, which you put a dot here instead of that you can con configure that you can copy this line of code and you can come in the main.js and just write it all the way down there now every time you want to check the product id you say product.id and it will get the id of the product for you this error is because of that so you save the changes there also if you come and read the documentation properly they are going to tell you that they store data differently like this so they completely restructure the data you have the in the file store you have the key which is separate and then after key you have another object that is store all your data but there you have one object that is store all your information it means you don't have to update you don't have to store that in uh, let's say a separate active product here that is just the example i you can use like for the edit and other stuff for edit for delete this is going to be good but for us here instead of that one you can say product which is referring to the current product which we have here we have already filled those information here and it means now you have access to the id of that one now how you say id because now we have configured that every time instead of key we are going to say id so this time if i come to the page you refresh the page make sure you hard reload so it should delete all the extra information from the page and you edit something here this time let's say you change it to 10 you click click apply yes it did change the product here the theme so after it is going to do all the updates we are going to close the mod the model window of course so what how you can do that one of course this is the easy part you can copy this one which is going to be in a set of show you have height you have already seen this in let me see when you create something yeah when you create a product after you create the product you hide the model window of course for the creating product also you are going to show a toast here so it is successful you can say product created successfully i think delete in delete successfully okay as well as for the this one is uh, for yeah it should be updated and i will remove some extra information oops up dated okay fine and this time i will refresh the page and it should work just fine let's load the product and let's update the book which we are going to say this book is going to cost twenty dollar and this is the updated version so you click on the apply changes and it should apply instantly here for you uh, so that's it for this video i hope it has been informative and you have learned some of the tips and tricks for using the single model window for edit and delete and in the next video we'll continue our project and working on let's say making the product page a little more beautiful using WYSIWYG editor thank you for watching